In mathematics, a field is a set on which addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are defined, and behave as the corresponding operations on rational and real numbers do. A field is thus a fundamental algebraic structure, which is widely used in algebra, number theory and many other areas of mathematics. The best known fields are the field of rational numbers, the field of real numbers and the field of complex numbers. Many other fields, such as fields of rational functions, algebraic function fields, algebraic number fields, and p-adic fields are commonly used and studied in mathematics, particularly in number theory and algebraic geometry. Most cryptographic protocols rely on finite fields, i.e., fields with finitely many elements. The relation of two fields is expressed by the notion of a field extension. Galois theory, initiated by Évariste Galois in the 1830s, is devoted to understanding the symmetries of field extensions. Among other results, this theory shows that angle trisection and squaring the circle cannot be done with a compass and straightedge. Moreover, it shows that quintic equations are algebraically unsolvable. Fields serve as foundational notions in several mathematical domains. This includes different branches of analysis, which are based on fields with additional structure. Basic theorems in analysis hinge on the structural properties of the field of real numbers. Most importantly for algebraic purposes, any field may be used as the scalars for a vector space, which is the standard general context for linear algebra. Number fields, the siblings of the field of rational numbers, are studied in depth in number theory. Function fields can help describe properties of geometric objects. Topic: <laughs> Definition. Informally, a field is a set along with two operations defined on that set, an addition operation written as a plus b and a multiplication operation written as a b, both of which behave similarly as they behave for rational numbers and real numbers, including the existence of an additive inverse minus a for all elements a and of a multiplicative inverse b minus 1 for every non-zero element b. This allows us to consider also the so-called inverse operations of subtraction a minus b and division a b via defining a minus b equals a plus minus b a b equals a b minus one equals topic classic definition equals Formally, a field is a set F together with two operations called addition and multiplication. An operation is a mapping that associates an element of the set to every pair of its elements. The result of the addition of A and B is called the sum of A and B and denoted A plus B. Similarly, the result of the multiplication of A and B is called the product of A and B, and denoted AB or AB. These operations are required to satisfy the following properties, referred to as field axioms. In these axioms, A, B and C are arbitrary elements of the field F. Associativity of addition and multiplication, A plus B plus C. A plus B plus C and A, B, C. A B C commutativity of addition and multiplication a plus b topic b plus a and a b b a additive and multiplicative identity there exist two different elements 0 and 1 in f such that a plus 0 Topic A and a one. A additive inverses for every A in F, there exists an element in F denoted minus A, called the additive inverse of A, such that a plus minus A equals zero. 
multiplicative inverses, for every a does not equal zero in f, there exists an element in f, denoted by a minus one, one, a, or one, a, called the multiplicative inverse of a, such that a a minus one equals one. Distributivity of multiplication over addition, a, b plus c equals a b plus a c this may be summarized by saying a field has two operations called addition and multiplication it is an abelian group under the addition with zero as additive identity the non-zero elements are an abelian group under the multiplication with one as multiplicative identity the multiplication is distributive over the addition equals topic Alternative definition equals Fields can also be defined in different, but equivalent ways. One can alternatively define a field by four binary operations add, subtract, multiply, divide, and their required properties. Division by zero is, by definition, excluded. In order to avoid existential quantifiers, fields can be defined by two binary operations addition and multiplication, two unary operations yielding the additive and multiplicative inverses, respectively, and two nullary operations the constants 0 and 1. These operations are then subject to the conditions above. Avoiding existential quantifiers is important in constructive mathematics and computing. One may equivalently define a field by the same two binary operations, one unary operation, the multiplicative inverse, and two constants 1 and minus 1, since 0 equals 1 plus minus 1 and a equals minus 1 a equals topic examples equals Topic: Rational numbers. Rational numbers have been widely used a long time before the elaboration of the concept of field. They are numbers that can be written as fractions, a, b, where a and b are integers, and b does not equal zero. The additive inverse of such a fraction is minus a, b, and the multiplicative inverse, provided that a does not equal zero, is b, a, which can be seen as follows: b, a, a, b equals b, a, a, b equals one. Display style FRAC B A C D O T FRAC A B equals FRAC BA AB equals one. The abstractly required field axioms reduce to standard properties of rational numbers. For example, the law of distributivity can be proven as follows A B C D plus E F equals A B C D F F plus E F D D equals A B C F D F plus E D F D equals A B C F plus E D D F equals A C F plus E D B D F equals A C F B D F plus A E 
D B D F equals A C B D plus A E B F equals A B C D plus A B E F. Display style begin aligned and frac A B C D O T left frac C D plus frac E F right six P T equals and frac A B C D O T left frac C D C D O T frac F F plus F frac e f c d o t frac d d right 6 p t equals and frac a b c d o t left frac c f d f plus frac ed f d right equals frac a b c d o t frac c f plus e d d f 6 p t equals and frac a c f plus e d b d f F equals FRAC ACF BDF plus FRAC AED BDF equals FRAC AC BD plus FRAC ABF six PT equals and FRAC ABCDOT FRAC CD plus FRAC ABCDOT FRAC EF and aligned Topic: Real and complex numbers. The real numbers are, with the usual operations of addition and multiplication, also form a field. The complex numbers C consist of expressions a plus by with a b real, where i is the imaginary unit, i.e., a non-real number satisfying i two equals minus one. Addition and multiplication of real numbers are defined in such a way that expressions of this type satisfy all field axioms and thus hold for C. For example, the distributive law enforces a plus by C plus D. Topic A C plus B C I plus A D plus B D I two. A C minus B D plus B C plus add I. It is immediate that this is again an expression of the above type, and so the complex numbers form a field. Complex numbers can be geometrically represented as points in the plane, with Cartesian coordinates given by the real numbers of their describing expression, or as the arrows from the origin to these points, specified by their length and an angle enclosed with some distinct direction. Addition then corresponds to combining the arrows to the intuitive parallelogram adding the Cartesian coordinates, and the multiplication is less intuitively combining rotating and scaling of the arrows adding the angles and multiplying the lengths. The fields of real and complex numbers are used throughout mathematics, physics, engineering, statistics, and many other scientific disciplines. Topic: Constructible numbers. In antiquity, several geometric problems concerned the feasibility of constructing certain numbers with compass and straightedge. For example, it was unknown to the Greeks that it is in general impossible to trisect a given angle. These problems can be settled using the field of constructible numbers. Real constructible numbers are, by definition, lengths of line segments that can be constructed from the points 0 and 1 in finitely many steps using only compass and straightedge. These numbers, endowed with the field operations of real numbers, restricted to the constructible numbers, form a field, which properly includes the field Q of rational numbers. The illustration shows the construction of square roots of constructible numbers, not necessarily contained within Q using the labeling in the illustration. Construct the segments AB, BD, and a semicircle over AD, center at the midpoint C, which intersects the perpendicular line through B in a point F at a distance of exactly h equals p. Display style h equals sqrt p from B when BD has length 1. Not all real numbers are constructible. It can be shown that 2 3 
Display style sqrt three two is not a constructible number, which implies that it is impossible to construct with compass and straightedge the length of the side of a cube with volume two. Another problem posed by the ancient Greeks. Topic: A field with four elements. In addition to familiar number systems such as the rationals, there are other, less immediate examples of fields. The following example is a field consisting of four elements called O, I, A, and B. The notation is chosen such that O plays the role of the additive identity element denoted zero in the axioms above, and I is the multiplicative identity denoted one in the axioms above. The field axioms can be verified by using some more field theory, or by direct computation. For example, A B plus A Topic A I A, which equals A B plus A A. Topic I plus B A, as required by the distributivity, this field is called a finite field with four elements, and is denoted F4 or GF4. The subset consisting of O and I highlighted in red in the tables at the right is also a field, known as the binary field F2 or GF2. In the context of computer science and Boolean algebra, O and I are often denoted respectively by false and true, the addition is then denoted XOR exclusive or, and the multiplication is denoted N. In other words, the structure of the binary field is the basic structure that allows computing with bits. Topic: Elementary notions. In this section, F denotes an arbitrary field, and A and B are arbitrary elements of F. Topic: Consequences of the definition. One has a zero. Topic. 0 and minus a minus 1 a in particular one may deduce the additive inverse of every element as soon as one knows minus 1 if ab equals 0 then a or b must be 0 indeed if a does not equal 0 then 0 topic a10 A one ab Topic A one A B B This means that every field is an integral domain. Topic The additive and the multiplicative group of a field. The axioms of a field F imply that it is an abelian group under addition. This group is called the additive group of the field, and is sometimes denoted by F plus when denoting it simply as F could be confusing. Similarly, the non-zero elements of F form an abelian group under multiplication, called the multiplicative group, and denoted by F zero, or just F zero, or F asterisk. A field may thus be defined as set F equipped with two operations denoted as an addition and a multiplication such that F is an abelian group under addition, F is an abelian group under multiplication where zero is the identity element of the addition, and multiplication is distributive over addition. Some elementary statements about fields can therefore be obtained by applying general facts of groups. For example, the additive and multiplicative inverses minus a and a minus one are uniquely determined by a. The requirement one does not equal zero follows because one is the identity element of a group that does not contain zero. Thus, the trivial ring consisting of a single element is not a field. 
Every finite subgroup of the multiplicative group of a field is cyclic. See root of unity section cyclic groups. Topic: <laughs> Characteristic In addition to the multiplication of two elements of f, it is possible to define the product n a of an arbitrary element of f by a positive integer n to be the n-fold sum a plus a plus plus a which is an element of f if there is no positive integer such that n1 equals 0, then f is said to have characteristic 0. For example, q has characteristic 0 since no positive integer n is 0. Otherwise, if there is a positive integer n satisfying this equation, the smallest such positive integer can be shown to be a prime number. It is usually denoted by p and the field is said to have characteristic p then. For example, the field F4 has characteristic 2 since in the notation of the above addition table I plus I equals O. If f has characteristic p, then p a equals zero for all a in f. This implies that a plus b p equals ap plus b p, since all other binomial coefficients appearing in the binomial formula are divisible by p. Here, ap equals a a p factors is the pth power, i.e., the p-fold product of the element a. Therefore, the Frobenius map fr, ff, x, x, p, i, s compatible with the addition in f and also with the multiplication, and is therefore a field homomorphism. The existence of this homomorphism makes fields in characteristic p quite different from fields of characteristic 0. <laughs> Subfields and prime fields A subfield E of a field F is a subset of F that is a field with respect to the field operations of F equivalently E is a subset of F that contains 1, and is closed under addition, multiplication, additive inverse and multiplicative inverse of a nonzero element. This means that 1 E, that for all A, B E both A plus B and A B are in E, and that for all A does not equal 0 in E, both A and 1, A are in E. Field homomorphisms are maps f, e f between two fields such that f e1 plus e2. Topic f e1 plus f e2 f e1 e2. f e1 f e2 and f 1 e equals 1 f where e1 and e2 are arbitrary elements of e all field homomorphisms are injective if f is also surjective it is called an isomorphism or the fields e and f are called isomorphic a field is called a prime field if it has no proper ie strictly smaller subfields any field f contains a prime field if the characteristic of f is p a prime number, the prime field is isomorphic to the finite field f p introduced below. Otherwise the prime field is isomorphic to q. <laughs> <laughs> finite fields Finite fields, also called Galois fields, are fields with finitely many elements, whose number is also referred to as the order of the field. The above introductory example F4 is a field with four elements. Its subfield F2 is the smallest field, because by definition a field has at least two distinct elements one does not equal zero. The simplest finite fields, with prime order, are most directly accessible using modular arithmetic. For a fixed positive integer n, arithmetic modulo n means to work with the numbers z, n, z. Topic zero one n minus one. The addition and multiplication on this set are done by performing the operation in question in the set z of integers, dividing by n and taking the remainder as result. This construction yields a field precisely if n is a prime number. For example, taking the prime n 
2 results in the above mentioned field F2 for n topic 4 and more generally for any composite number ie any number n which can be expressed as a product n Rs of two strictly smaller natural numbers, z, n z is not a field, the product of two non-zero elements is zero since Rs equals zero in z, n z, which, as was explained above, prevents z, n z from being a field. The field z, p z with p elements p being prime constructed in this way is usually denoted by f p. Every finite field f has q equals p n elements, where p is prime and n 1. This statement holds since f may be viewed as a vector space over its prime field. The dimension of this vector space is necessarily finite, say n, which implies the asserted statement. A field with q equals p n elements can be constructed as the splitting field of the polynomial f x equals x q minus x, such a splitting field is an extension of f p in which the polynomial f has q zeros. This means f has as many zeros as possible since the degree of f is q. For q equals 22. Topic 4. It can be checked case by case using the above multiplication table that all four elements of F4 satisfy the equation x4. x, so they are zeros of F. By contrast, in F2, F has only two zeros, namely 0 and 1, so F does not split into linear factors in this smaller field. Elaborating further on basic field theoretic notions, it can be shown that two finite fields with the same order are isomorphic. It is thus customary to speak of the finite field with q elements, denoted by fq or gf q. History Historically, three algebraic disciplines led to the concept of a field, the question of solving polynomial equations, algebraic number theory, and algebraic geometry. A first step towards the notion of a field was made in 1770 by Joseph Louis Lagrange, who observed that permuting the zeros x1, x2, x3 of a cubic polynomial in the expression, x1 plus omega x2 plus omega 2 by 3 3 with omega being a third root of unity only yields two values. This way, Lagrange conceptually explained the classical solution method of Scipione del Ferro and François Viette, which proceeds by reducing a cubic equation for an unknown x to an quadratic equation for x3. Together with a similar observation for equations of degree 4, Lagrange thus linked what eventually became the concept of fields and the concept of groups. Vandermond, also in 1770, and to a fuller extent, Carl Friedrich Gauss, in his Disquisitions Arithmetici 1801, studied the equation xp topic 1 for a prime p and, again using modern language, the resulting cyclic Galois group. Gauss deduced that a regular p gon can be constructed if p 22 k plus 1. Building on Lagrange's work, Paolo Ruffini claimed 1799 that quintic equations, polynomial equations of degree 5 cannot be solved algebraically, however his arguments were flawed. These gaps were filled by Niels Henrik Abel in 1824. Everyste Galois, in 1832, devised necessary and sufficient criteria for a polynomial equation to be algebraically solvable, thus establishing in effect what is known as Galois theory today. Both Abel and Galois worked with what is today called an algebraic number field, but conceived neither an explicit notion of a field, nor of a group. In 1871 Richard Dedekind introduced, for a set of real or complex numbers that is closed under the four arithmetic operations, the German word Körper, which means body or corpus to suggest an organically closed entity. The English term field was introduced by Moore 1893. 
By a field we will mean every infinite system of real or complex numbers so closed in itself and perfect that addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of any two of these numbers again yields a number of the system. In 1881 Leopold Kronecker defined what he called a domain of rationality, which is a field of rational fractions in modern terms. Kronecker's notion did not cover the field of all algebraic numbers which is a field in Dedekind's sense, but on the other hand was more abstract than Dedekind's in that it made no specific assumption on the nature of the elements of a field. Kronecker interpreted a field such as q pi abstractly as the rational function field q x. Prior to this, examples of transcendental numbers were known since Joseph Liouville's work in 1844, until Charles Hermite and Ferdinand von Lindemann proved the transcendence of E and π, respectively. The first clear definition of an abstract field is due to Weber. In particular, Heinrich Martin Weber's notion included the field Fp. Giuseppe Veronese 1891 studied the field of formal power series, which led Hensel 1904 to introduce the field of p-adic numbers. Steinitz 1910 synthesized the knowledge of abstract field theory accumulated so far. He axiomatically studied the properties of fields and defined many important field theoretic concepts. The majority of the theorems mentioned in the sections Galois theory, constructing fields and elementary notions can be found in Steinitz's work. Artin and Schreier link the notion of orderings in a field, and thus the area of analysis, to purely algebraic properties. Emile Artin redeveloped Galois theory from 1928 through 1942, eliminating the dependency on the primitive element theorem. Constructing fields Constructing fields from rings A commutative ring is a set, equipped with an addition and multiplication operation, satisfying all the axioms of a field, except for the existence of multiplicative inverses a minus one. For example, the integers z form a commutative ring, but not a field. The reciprocal of an integer n is not itself an integer, unless n equals plus or minus 1. In the hierarchy of algebraic structures, fields can be characterized as the commutative rings R, in which every nonzero element is a unit, which means every element is invertible. Similarly, fields are the commutative rings with precisely two distinct ideals, 0 and R fields are also precisely the commutative rings in which 0 is the only prime ideal. Given a commutative ring R, there are two ways to construct a field related to R, i.e., two ways of modifying R such that all non-zero elements become invertible, forming the field of fractions, and forming residue fields. The field of fractions of Z is Q, the rationals, while the residue fields of Z are the finite fields Fp. <laughs> field of fractions Given an integral domain R, its field of fractions Q R is built with the fractions of two elements of R exactly as Q is constructed from the integers. More precisely, the elements of Q R are the fractions A, B where A and B are in R, and B does not equal zero. Two fractions A, B and C, D are equal if and only if add equals B C. The operation on the fractions work exactly as for rational numbers. For example, A B plus C D equals a D plus B C B D display style frac a B plus frac C D equals frac add plus BC BD 
It is straightforward to show that, if the ring is an integral domain, the set of the fractions form a field, the field f x of the rational fractions over a field or an integral domain f is the field of fractions of the polynomial ring f x. The field f x of Laurent series i equals k infinity a i x i k element of z a i element of f display style sum underscore i equals k caret in a t a underscore i x caret i k in math b z a underscore i in f over a field F is the field of fractions of the ring F X of formal power series in which k zero. Since any Laurent series is a fraction of a power series divided by a power of X as opposed to an arbitrary power series, the representation of fractions is less important in this situation, though. Topic: <inaudible> Residue fields. In addition the field of fractions, which embeds R injectively into a field, a field can be obtained from a commutative ring R by means of a surjective map onto a field F. Any field obtained in this way is a quotient R per meter, where M is a maximal ideal of R. If R has only one maximal ideal M, this field is called the residue field of R. The ideal generated by a single polynomial F in the polynomial ring R equals E X over a field E is max maximal if and only if f is irreducible in E, i.e., if f can not be expressed as the product of two polynomials in E x of smaller degree. This yields a field f equals E x, f x. This field f contains an element x namely the residue class of x which satisfies the equation f x Zero, for example, C is obtained from R by adjoining the imaginary unit symbol I, which satisfies F I. Zero, where F x equals x two plus one. Moreover, F is irreducible over R, which implies that the map that sends a polynomial F x R x to F I yields an isomorphism R x x 2 plus 1 c display style math bf r x left x caret 2 plus 1 right stackrel kong long right arrow math bf c topic constructing fields within a bigger field Fields can be constructed inside a given bigger container field. Suppose given a field E, and a field F containing E as a subfield. For any element X of F, there is a smallest subfield of F containing E and X, called the subfield of F generated by X and denoted E X. The passage from E to E X is referred to by adjoining an element to E more generally. For a subset S F, there is a minimal subfield of F containing E and S, denoted by E S. The compositum of two subfields E and E of some field F is the smallest subfield of F containing both E and E. The compositum can be used to construct the biggest subfield of F satisfying a certain property, for example the biggest subfield of F, which is, in the language introduced below, algebraic over E. <laughs> field extensions The notion of a subfield EF can also be regarded from the opposite point of view, by referring to F being a field extension or just extension of E, denoted by F, E, and red F over E. A basic datum of a field extension is its degree F, E, I, E, the dimension of F as an E-vector space. It satisfies the formula G, E equals g f f e extensions whose degree is finite are referred to as finite extensions 
The extensions C, R and F4, F2 are of degree 2, whereas R, Q is an infinite extension. Algebraic extensions a pivotal notion in the study of field extensions F, E are algebraic elements. An element X element of F display style X in F is algebraic over E if it is a root of a polynomial with coefficients in E, that is, if it satisfies a polynomial equation. E n x n plus n minus one x n minus one plus plus e one x plus e zero equals zero with n e zero in E and n does not equal zero. For example, the imaginary unit i in C is algebraic over R and even over Q since it satisfies the equation i two plus one equals zero. A field extension in which every element of f is algebraic over E is called an algebraic extension. Any finite extension is necessarily algebraic, as can be deduced from the above multiplicativity formula. The subfield E x generated by an element x, as above, is an algebraic extension of E if and only if x is an algebraic element. That is to say, if x is algebraic, all other elements of E x are necessarily algebraic as well. Moreover, the degree of the extension E x, e, i.e., the dimension of E x as an E vector space, equals the minimal degree n such that there is a polynomial equation involving x, as above. If this degree is n, then the elements of E x have the form k equals 0 n minus 1 a k x k a k element of e display style sum underscore k equals 0 caret n 1 a underscore k x caret k a underscore k in e for example, the field Q I of Gaussian rationals is the subfield of C consisting of all numbers of the form A plus B where both A and B are rational numbers, summons of the form I2 and similarly for higher exponents don't have to be considered here, since A plus B plus C2 can be simplified to A minus C plus B. Transcendence bases. The above-mentioned field of rational fractions E x, where x is an indeterminate, is not an algebraic extension of E since there is no polynomial equation with coefficients in E whose zero is x elements, such as x, which are not algebraic are called transcendental. Informally speaking, the indeterminate x and its powers do not interact with elements of E. A similar construction can be carried out with a set of indeterminates, instead of just one. Once again, the field extension E x, E discussed above is a key example. If x is not algebraic, i.e., x is not a root of a polynomial with coefficients in E, then E x is isomorphic to E x. This isomorphism is obtained by substituting x to x in rational fractions. A subset S of a field F is a transcendence basis if it is algebraically independent don't satisfy any polynomial relations over E and if F is an algebraic extension of E S. Any field extension F, E has a transcendence basis. Thus, field extensions can be split into ones of the form E S, E, purely transcendental extensions and algebraic extensions. Topic. Closure operations A field is algebraically closed if it does not have any strictly bigger algebraic extensions or, equivalently, if any polynomial equation fn x n plus fn minus 1 x n minus 1 plus plus f 1 x plus f 0 equals 0, with coefficients fn 
F0 element of F, n greater than 0, has a solution xf by the fundamental theorem of algebra, C is algebraically closed, i.e., any polynomial equation with complex coefficients has a complex solution. The rational and the real numbers are not algebraically closed since the equation x2 plus 1 equals 0 does not have any rational or real solution. A field containing f is called an algebraic closure of f if it is algebraic over f roughly speaking, not too big compared to f and is algebraically closed big enough to contain solutions of all polynomial equations. By the above, C is an algebraic closure of R. The situation that the algebraic closure is a finite extension of the field F is quite special. By the Artin Schreier theorem, the degree of this extension is necessarily 2, and F is elementarily equivalent to R. Such fields are also known as real closed fields. Any field F has an algebraic closure, which is moreover unique up to non -unique isomorphism. It is commonly referred to as the algebraic closure and denoted f. For example, the algebraic closure Q of Q is called the field of algebraic numbers. The field f is usually rather implicit since its construction requires the ultrafilter lemma, a set theoretic axiom that is weaker than the axiom of choice. In this regard, the algebraic closure of f Q is exceptionally simple. It is the union of the finite fields containing FQ, the ones of order QN. For any algebraically closed field F of characteristic 0, the algebraic closure of the field F T of Laurent series is the field of Puot series, obtained by adjoining roots of T. Topic: <laughs> Fields with additional structure. Since fields are ubiquitous in mathematics and beyond, several refinements of the concept have been adapted to the needs of particular mathematical areas. <laughs> <laughs> Ordered fields A field F is called an ordered field if any two elements can be compared, so that x plus y0 and xy0 whenever x0 and y0. For example, the reals form an ordered field, with the usual ordering. The Artin Schreier theorem states that a field can be ordered if and only if it is a formally real field, which means that any quadratic equation x 1 2 plus x 2 2 plus plus x n 2 equals 0 display style x underscore 1 caret 2 plus x underscore 2 caret 2 plus dots plus x underscore n caret 2 equals 0 only has the solution x1 topic x2 